in this video I'm going to show how to visualize rivers and basins from HydroShats. HydroShats is uh, free data on uh, rivers and basins in the world and uh, derived products. It's open data. And uh, in the video I'm going to demonstrate some of the renders in QGIS to make a really cool visualization. This video is part of the IHC Delft summer course on creating data visualizations with graphs, maps and animations. The tutorials are also available at gisopencourseware.org. You can find the link in the description of this video. You can find the data at hydroshats.org and uh, scroll down and there you can find the button Explore the data. Then you'll see here the different data products in the uh, links in the navigation menu. And we're going to use hydro basins and hydro rivers. But if you scroll down, you see examples of the products that are available here for download. Click on Hydro Basins and scroll down. In the Data Download section, choose the continent for which you want to make the styling. Here we will use Europe and use the Customized with Lakes version. Save this in a folder that you dedicate to this tutorial. Now also download the Hydro Rivers product. Also here I will download Europe and Middle East. It's a shapefile. As you can see, these are zip files that we need to extract. So extract the files using 7-zip or the internal tool for Windows and make sure that they end up in the correct folder. You can find a PDF with the metadata description on how this uh, layer was generated and what the attributes are of the shapefile. And that's always important to check before you start using the data. For example, here are the attributes, and we are going to use here the ORT stra, the Strahler order uh, field in the shapefile to style it later. It's also important to check the license agreement for using this data and how you need to do the acknowledgement and citation of the data when you use it in your GIS products. Let's add the downloaded data to a new QGIS project. This is the layer with the polygons for the basins, including the lakes. And this is the layer with the rivers. Drag the layer with the basin polygons to the top. Select it and activate the layer styling panel. For our visualization, we want to have random colors for each polygon. So we're going to switch to graduated. And there we can choose a value from the attribute table, but that will not give us a nice distribution of colors. So what we're going to do is create a function in the expression. And you can search for a rand or find it under math, rand, double click. And on the right side, you can read how it works. So it needs a minimum and maximum value. Um, that's the range within it will uh, pick a random value for each polygon. So we choose a range from 0 to 9999. And then click OK. And we change the color ramp to random colors and then change the amount of classes to 150 and you see it's immediately applied. And every time we click classify or it has to redraw the canvas, it will uh, again sample random values. So in the end, you need to make sure that the colors are nice when you export it to an image. Now let's focus on the rivers layer. If you click right and choose properties, then in the layer properties, in the information tab, when you scroll down, you can also see all the attributes that are available and that we can use for styling. And uh, as we already figured out, we're going to use the Strahler orders, which are integer values with the Strahler orders. Click the simple line renderer and change the symbol layer type to interpolated line. This is a newer renderer in QGIS where we can vary the width of a line with an attribute and the color. So for varying the width, we choose the Strahler orders. You can see that it's uh, quite slow for this big data set. So be patient. And if you click the refresh button, then it will uh, calculate the minimum and maximum value, which is from one to nine. If you uncheck the live update button, then uh, it will be quicker because then every time you change something, the map canvas will not be redrawn. Change the minimum width 
to zero and the maximum width to one millimeters. And now in the color section, change to varying color. And also here use the Strahler orders for the start and end value. And here it fills in the correct values for min max. If that's not the case, click the refresh button. We'll use a grayscale uh, color ramp because that will work well when we blend it later with the, the basins. Let's click apply to see the result. This already looks very nice. Without the basins, it would make more sense to use blues. I check the box live update again, so it will be updated with every change that we make. And I change it back to uh, grays for the next step. Now let's combine the rivers with the basin layer. Click the checkbox to activate it. And make sure it's a target layer in the layer styling panel. And there we go to the layer rendering section and we use blending mode, soft light. And there we get this very nice effect. To learn more about blending modes, I can advise to have a look at uh, uh, this blog from Helen McKenzie, where it gives a great explanation about these blending modes. Now it would be nicer if the background is black, so go to the project properties and under general you can change the background color and we'll use black. Now also change the projection to the equal earth projection as we did before with green ridge in the center. If you use another continent then choose one of the other equal earth projections. Let's make the data ready for uh, export to a picture. So zoom into the area that you want to export later. And uh, as good practice, we still need to add um, the data credits and the author of uh, the map. So go to the view menu and choose decorations. And there choose copyright label. Check the box to enable the copyright label and replace the text. And we use for source hydro sheds and also add the URL. And you can uh, add cartographer and then your name. Make sure you change the font to white because we have a black background and then you can't see the black text. And for placement, choose bottom left. Click OK to apply, nudge the map. And if you're OK with the colors, then you can export this as a picture or make a screenshot. Go to project, import export, export map to image. You can uh, keep the defaults. If you want to print, you can choose a higher resolution. You can copy to clipboard or you can save it to a PNG file. It can take some time, but once it's saved, you can uh, find the link and to go to the place where it's stored and open it in a picture viewer. And this is our nice result. So try this for your own continent. <music>